All right, folks, this is Symbolic of the Council of Twelve reporting out to you on the Council of Twelve show that took place yesterday, Saturday, December 5th. You know, all our shows are on Saturdays at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, blogtalkradio.com slash council of one two. We had dual topics. Um, the topic was HIV and the gay community and HIV shattering the myths. Um, and the link there is uh, that when uh, HIV was, for, well, it was at the time, well, HIV is the, 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 uh, the name of the virus, but at the time that the disease was first detected, in about 1980, 1981, uh, the Center for Disease Control first detected it um, in basically the gay community at that time. This created a couple of labels that froze in people's minds, sort of stereotypes, actually, that one... Uh, HIV or AIDS, uh, which is the result of HIV, the HIV virus, that, uh, that HIV or AIDS was a quote-unquote gay disease and, or that HIV was a quote-unquote white disease. Um, and as I say, this occurred because um, it was first detected among the gay population at the time and most of the visible geographic gay communities at that time uh, were predominantly Caucasian and so the image froze and as a result we still have people today 28 years later thinking that um, that it is a quote-unquote gay disease or a white disease and that people are not going to get it that it's irrelevant to them or that they're immune to it if they are not quote-unquote gay or quote-unquote white so these are the first two myths that really really have to be shattered uh, actually you know going over the history of the virus um, uh, they believe it it first entered the country in, a, in the United States in uh, approximately 1960 um, and has been with us since about 1960 but as I say it was detected by the Center for Disease Control in about 1980-1981 um, and uh, the population that it was detected in at that time happened to be uh, uh, a gay population. So, dispelling the myths, we had two guests. We had Wendell Brown of the Fulton County Department of Health, and we had Patricia Brown. Uh, she's the former director of Our Common Welfare, and she's currently involved in a program or a project uh, that deals with substance abuse. Um, among uh, uh, men who have sex with men and among transgender persons. Uh, this uh, particular groups, uh, a lot of the traditional methods to, um, to try to uh, prevent or end substance abuse have, have basically kind of failed. So the approach uh, Patricia Brown's group is taking is to look at the, um, the substance abuse problem in these groups uh, as looking at it developmentally in stages, looking at the process of behaviors, um, looking at basically holistically, and basically our own um, looking at people's sexual identity and gender identity, you know, uh, what do we identify as, and basically looking at showing person, people to look at their whole self uh, as an integrated whole rather than to think of themselves first as, say, a gay person or a transgender person and then everything else, uh, basically looking at themselves as a whole uh, and evaluating their life in those regards um, so, uh, so that uh, some of these substance abuse behaviors uh, can be basically eliminated rather than having a, uh, a failure rate where people you know temporarily manage to overcome substance abuse and then fall back into it so it sounds like a very good program for more information on that program uh, Pat Brown says please email her her email address is p brown htl at gmail.com I'll put a link in the in the description box I'll also have links to uh, information on the HIV virus on viruses in general the HIV virus and the uh, um, and AIDS um, uh, in the description box and I will have a link to all kinds of false myths about HIV you would be amazed what some people believe about HIV in any event those myths are all false uh, when you look at them. None of them are true. They are things people believe that are just factually wrong. Real quick on HIV. HIV is a virus, just like the cold is a virus, just like the flu is a virus. Uh, 
viruses um, uh, viruses have been around for millions and millions of years there are millions of types of viruses there are more types of viruses than there are types of animals or plants and actually animals and plants do get viruses too um, viruses are very curious things they don't reproduce themselves out of themselves like plants and animals do they infect us or plants or animals and they reprogram our cells so that our own cells generate more of the virus our cells become factories for these viruses uh, so that that we end up generating the virus ourselves and then they have a way that they spread to other people in the case of HIV uh, HIV is sexually transmitted uh, it's actually transmitted through an exchange of body fluids so blood semen, uh, any pre-ejaculate or pre-seminal fluid, vaginal fluid, vaginal secretions, and breast milk will carry the disease and you can contract it. Viruses are very, very, very small. Um, there are currently no cures, I think, for any virus. Uh, the common cold, which is spread through the air, or through touching uh, it has a different transmission mechanism than HIV there's still no cure for the common cold um, so uh, there is no cure for HIV um, there they are working on vaccines that may kind of help prevent people from contracting HIV but if you have HIV there is no cure you we seek to through medication to control the symptoms and it's very very important to use the medication and alternate forms of treatment in order to control the virus and suppress the virus because this virus attacks our immune system it attacks our internal defenses against disease it attacks those cells it turns those cells into little factories to generate more HIV virus and those cells no longer perform their intended or I don't know what's intended but they no longer perform their job their duty of 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 protecting us from catching other diseases so we no longer we, we lose our immunity to uh, all kinds of diseases and so what happens is we can we can catch lots of diseases once HIV has suppressed our immune system so you know that's where you get these you, people get pneumonia they get various forms of cancer um, uh, because HIV has weakened our immune systems. Uh, that's why it's critical to, to suppress the virus once we have contracted HIV uh, to, to, control, uh, to control that. Um, so it's spreading, it's continuing to spread, and among the gay population, it is spreading quickest uh, in the young among African American youth in the country. Um, in the general population, it is spreading quickest among African Americans, and it is spreading the very quickest among Af African American females, uh, young women. So youth are very affected by this, and it's important to do a lot of outreach and training and uh, um, you know, mentoring and uh, teaching about HIV and the risks of HIV. Um, uh, unprotected sex, when you're exposed to the body fluids I mentioned, blood, semen, vaginal fluid, breast milk, uh, and pre-ejaculate, pre-seminal fluid, um, these are the body fluids that, that will, uh, will carry the disease and can uh, infect us. So, so all sex, to be safe sex, must be protected. An uh, interesting point that Pat makes is one of the things that is preventing us, uh, the way we label ourselves um, is, is preventing us from really realizing that we are exposed to HIV. Viruses don't care about race. They don't care what kind of sexual practice. They don't care if you call yourself gay or you call yourself straight or you call yourself uh, lesbian, transgender, uh, genderqueer, uh, what have you. Uh, if you engage in unprotected sex or are exposed to infected blood uh, or, or another body fluid of this type, um, you can, you can, we can contract HIV. Uh, so labels, we have to drop the labels and just view it as uh, a virus, just like the cold. The cold doesn't care about race, doesn't care about what we call ourselves, doesn't care how we identify. You know, we can all catch the cold. It's a human disease and it attacks humans. Uh, our only real protection at this point is to practice safe sex, which means latex condoms or polyurethane condoms, not lambskin condoms. Um, I will be making a second video to kind of wrap this up. All right. Talk to you soon. Video number two coming right up, folks.